Action. Please. The show starts in. the damn dude madman psycho mike welcoming you to this edition of my twisted world of masters of mayhem right here and you never know what you're going to find here when i'm on the air so on that note i want you to sit back rip the top off a cold one roll up a fatty and enjoy this edition of psycho mike's twisted world of masters of mayhem But I just gotta know one thing. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? It's Russell from War! And you're watching Psycho Mike kicking ass! Big Dave the Mighty from War, and you're watching Psycho Mike kicking ass on Cleveland, Ohio, the Masters of Mayhem Wrestling, the only professional wrestling that has been here in the last five years, where you are to go now. Bye! Hey, we're going to watch Masters of Mayhem Wrestling. Masters of Mayhem Wrestling. Where you want to be. Where you want to be. Bye. Mr. Mike, 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 Mr. Then alongside sensational summer. Cleveland, what's happening? It's the tattooed madman cycle, my cologne team, Rawls, cat. Stay tuned, Cleveland. Thank you. This thing. What's happening, Cleveland? It's the tattooed madman cycle, Mike. Here along with Team Rawls, Bobcat. We'll see that fight. Don't forget to see me down here in Cleveland and Madness Mayhem. Cleveland! It's Tater! I'm here! Big hair wrestling! You can't beat me with a stick! You can't whip me with a switch! Don't even try! You know what I'm breaking? Yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage, and you are watching the Masters of Mayhem in Cleveland, Ohio. Whoa, yeah! Dig it! Yeah! You're in all the time! What? What? Hallelujah! We got a brand new dance! It's called a bird! This is the Aaron Sheik. You are watching Master Maho uh, wrestling. Don't talk. This is the Aaron Sheik, Olympic champion, WWF champion, world champion, and you are watching Master Master of the Wrestling Maha. No, especially in the Cleveland, Ohio, people know Aaron Sheik was a champion, and still I'm a champion. Olympic, my pleasure to have come to the Cleveland, Ohio, to show all my wrestling fans. Aaron Sheik was a champion, and still I'm champion. Look at me, Ya Allah.
Now you know what I'm talking about. I'm the real champion. Cleveland, Ohio, my intelligent wrestling fans know about the Iron Sheik. This is Axe Demolition, and you're watching the Masters of Mayhem Wrestling. Go Mike, and you're watching Masters of Mayhem Wrestling. This is Typhoon and that's a disaster. You're watching Masters of Mayhem Wrestling. <laughs> Do people think of Masters of Mayhem Wrestling after just one viewing? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I like it. And so will you. Check out Masters of Mayhem Wrestling, Music, and Chaos. Check out Psycho Mike's Twisted World of Masters of Mayhem Underground TV. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Of course we are. It's time! I want you to sit back, rip the top off a cold one, roll up a fatty, and enjoy this edition of Psycho Mike's Twisted World of Masters of Mayhem Under... <sighs> Underground TV. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Oh, hi, Mike. So, sit back, rip the top off the cord, and enjoy this week's edition of Back to the Mayhem Wrestling. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year! Come into the ring in just a moment or two for more exciting fucking action. Wrestling fans, we are here at Catania, the TBA Arena in Puerto Rico. The Raging Bull Manny Fernandez taking on the invader number three world's junior heavyweight champion. And it started hot, Bobby. I'll tell you right now, invader number one and invader number three had an argument about who was going to wrestle Manny Fernandez. As you can see, invader three, he's in there fighting, brother. Okay, Bobby, like usual, you were a little bit wrong in a couple of your comments. This man, I'm never wrong. Raging Bull, was supposed to fight an unknown opponent. He called him because he was not a ranked wrestler. He said, let me wrestle with somebody like Carlos Colon or the Invader. Well, the Invader one came out. He did not want to wrestle with the Invader one, but Invader 3 took the challenge. Okay, so let's this just is watch the what happens. I told you I was right in what I said, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, if you did not know, a very good friend of Hackman Bobby Jaggers in San Antonio, in Texas. You were roommates? We, we were good friends. We rode up and down the road together. We were tag team partners. And I'll tell you something right now. And the you were a lot of brawls together. And you right. both injured a lot of people also. That's right. We put a lot of them in the hospital. And the Raging Bull is still carrying on, Daddy. He's doing what he got to do best. He's making headlines, baby. He's hurting people and putting them in the hospital. Well, to mention a couple of the names, uh, the Jaggers was associated in San Antonio, Kelly Blanchard and Raging Bull Manny Fernandez. That's right. Al Perez, the Sheep Herders. A lot of great names come out of San Antonio, Texas. Okay, in Beta 3, 
one in the ring. Reggie Bull Fernandez won a competition. The world's junior heavyweight champion of the World Wrestling Council says, I'll take you on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful side suplex right there. The Raging Bull went the a lot head, of... The head went down That's to right. What a hard. lot of people... Oh, no. What a lot of people don't realize, Manny Fernandez is an excellent, excellent amateur wrestler before he was a professional wrestler, was an excellent football player before he was a professional wrestler. Good boxer also. And he also... He, yeah, he handled the Dukes pretty good, brother. His problem? A crazy individual. No respect for life. No respect for nobody. And you know that, Bobby. That's right. The Raging guess, Bull don't give a damn about nothing, baby. I guess you can say that the Raging Bull does what he wants, whenever he wants, and you could never tell if it's coming or going. That's right. The Raging Bull, baby, the holder of more championship belts in professional wrestling than any other wrestler. Well, I will not back up that statement. Well, I will, because with half the belts he's had, I was on the other half of them. Uh, well, there's a reason why you might come up with a statement like that. Well, I'll tell you something. What I'm looking forward to right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm looking forward to the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, crippling the Invader number three. I'm looking forward to finishing this match, and then I want to get out of here, Bobby, because you are really hurting me. My Although ulcers your face is, Your ulcers. Yeah, you know I got those ulcers, don't you? They're from worrying. You are always worried if you're going to get beat or not. You worry me, Bobby. Right we'll there, a beautiful, by... beautiful side headlock takedown, Ugo Savinovich. That's... Something you never could do when you wrestled, you know. We would like to take this opportunity in the name of ENG Productions, Bobby Jaggers, myself, Capital Sports Promotions, of thanking all you beautiful people for buying this video cassette. And there's plenty more action when you see the signature of ENG Productions backed by the War Wrestling Council on Capital Sports. You're in for the best in professional wrestling. That's right. For all you girls in sororities out there, I can be uh, over for wrestling parties, also for video viewing parties. Yeah, and if you invite him there, please beat him up for me. Now, Thank Hugo, you. you don't even want to say that. Now, look at Manny Fernandez right here. Has, now, look, at there's the kind of guy, this guy, he starts beating on him. A lot of scars on the forehead. I guess he doesn't have that many friends, believe, Mr. Jagger. Believe me, Manny Fernandez, he's got a scars all over his body. There's a few people that beat him up pretty bad. Okay, in Spanish, he's known as El Toro Salvaje, the Raging Bull, and he has always lived up to that name. That's right, he's perpetual motion and he's good action, baby, and he's a good wrestler. Good move by the Invader 3, he is fast, and also the Raging Bull, look at this move. Oh, he missed. Yes, yes. That's the only problem with scientific aerial wrestling. You could win a lot of matches, but when you least expect it, you could make that mistake and it could cost you. In layman turns, ladies and gentlemen, what goes up comes down. <laughs> himself hard. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Manny Fernandez, 275 pounds off the top rope onto the chest area, the sternum of Invader number All three. All right, directly on the chest area. Like you said, 275 pounds, and Invader three is in pain. Invader he is three seriously has been hurt. Injured, severely he is injured. injured. Ricky Brothers wants to stop him. Look, the blood is just coming up like showers. The man has been severely injured. His cavity, his stomach area has been ruptured, as you can see. Manny Fernandez is not done yet, oh. ladies and gentlemen. And Manny Fernandez is going up to put this man out of wrestling permanently. The Raging Bull finds the target. Three times, ladies and gentlemen. 270 pounds off the top rope onto the chest and stomach area of Invader number three. There you see Invader number one, TNT, Miguelito Perez, the Young Bloods, Hurricane Castillo Jr., everybody. So Everybody is the so fans worried. Screaming. The wrestlers are worried in Better 3 in a sea of world of blood. And this Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, did you see the way he raised his hands in a in, uh, very happy, victorious manner? Not concerned at all with what happened to the Invader number three. And Manny Fernandez. Oh, look at that. Oh. Manny Fernandez has just done what he came to Puerto Rico to accomplish. He came here to get everybody's attention, and I'll believe something that Hugo Savinovich, right now, he has got everybody's attention. Look at the blood in the ring. This, this man is severely injured. Internal bleeding by the Invader 3. The wrestlers are 
Where is the stretcher? They aren't even waiting for a stretcher. They're not waiting for an ambulance. They're taking him by private car to the nearest hospital. This is how severely this man was injured. They could not even wait for an ambulance. We're going to follow the wrestlers. Taking him by number three. Outside the TV arena. This is in Catania, Puerto Rico. Fans are screaming. They're crying. And in better three, it's taken. As you Into see, the car. they're taking him to a private car because they can't wait. They cannot wait. wait for an ambulance or any delays. They do not. They know he's severely injured, but they do not know the extent of his injuries. Well, fans, after this match, the embedded three was put out of professional wrestling for a period of four months. Then he returned to professional wrestling. More about the embedded three on the next tapes of ENG. Former professional wrestler Psycho Mike, now the author of nine books. Two no-holds-barred books about his wrestling career, one cookbook. Two books of Psycho Mike Muses. Two coloring books. an autobiography, and one book about the wrestling he grew up watching as a kid, the NWF. All these titles are available on the website listed or at Amazon.com. The twisted world of Psycho Mike is now in books. Check it out.
Psycho Mike. He's here. Well, I'll tell you what. They just don't get any more psycho than Psycho Mike. That boy ain't right. This has been my twisted world of Masters of Mayhem. Part-time crazy. 100% psycho. Thank you very much for joining me. See you on the next episode of Psycho Mike's Twisted World of Masters of Mayhem. So, stay sick, turn blue, scratch glass, climb walls, but most importantly, do it while you can. Don't get caught. <laughs> and stay fucking crazy. Huh? Importantly, do it while you can. Don't get caught. <laughs> I'd stay fucking crazy.